I want to uh, discuss an issue that's very important to the president this morning. The steps we are taking on both sides of the border, working with our Mexican partners to support the Mexican government's campaign against the violent cartels and to reduce contraband in both directions across the border. Today, Department of Homeland Security uh, Secretary Janet Napolitano, Deputy Secretary of State Jim Steinberg, and U.S. Deputy Attorney General David Ogden will lay out the administration's comprehensive response to the situation along the border with Mexico, and we'll take a few questions. Under the President's leadership, and together with the State Department and DHS, the Department of Justice stands ready to take the fight to the Mexican drug cartels. The President has directed us to take action to fight these cartels, and Attorney General Holder and I are taking several new and aggressive steps as part of the administration's comprehensive plan. Those steps include the following. DOJ's Drug Enforcement Administration, which already has the largest U.S. drug enforcement presence in Mexico, with 11 offices in that country, is placing 16 new DEA positions in southwest border field, uh, field operations, specifically to target Mexican trafficking uh, and associated violence. DOJ's Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives is increasing its efforts by adding 37 new employees in three new offices using $10 million in Recovery Act funds and redeploying 100 personnel to the southwest border in the next 45 days to fortify its Project Gunrunner, which is aimed at disrupting arms trafficking between the United States and Mexico. ATF is doubling its, its presence in Mexico uh, itself um, uh, from five to nine personnel working with the Mexicans specifically to facilitate gun tracing uh, activity which targets uh, the illegal weapons uh, and their sources in the United States. The issue of arms, part of the problem, I mean, the, the question basically is, do you, how successful do you expect to be in this effort to clamp down on the trafficking of our going into Mexico when part of the problem is, you know, all these gun chance, gun chance along the border? I mean, do you expect to go against the people who sell these arms, which is part of the problem? I mean, maybe you can be successful in stopping arms, but if you don't do anything to, you know, do something on the source of this illegal business, how can you expect to have an in, a real impact in this issue? Several things. Uh, one is, first of all, you've got to interdict the arms. You've got to stop them from going into Mexico. Uh, that's why we're increasing the southbound inspections. That's why we're moving the technology to the border to help with uh, screening uh, going into the border. Uh, uh, we're coordinating with Mexico because they can do more uh, by way of southbound screening uh, on their side of the border. Uh, but then the Department of Justice moving uh, their agents uh, down there, uh, as David said, and increasing tracing. Uh, that will help us identify who, are, who, who is putting those arms uh, into the arms, those, those guns uh, uh, into the arms of the traffickers uh, moving south. Uh, and uh, out of that, uh, their uh, can reasonably be seen more prosecution of actual arms dealers who are intentionally and knowingly uh, putting arms into the hands of the smugglers. Uh, so that is part of the reason why the Department of Justice is such an essential part of this initiative on Mexico.